Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have some exciting news from the world of artificial intelligence. Google's AI research lab, DeepMind, has made a groundbreaking advancement in AI training technology. They've developed a new method called JEST, which stands for Joint Example Selection. This method is claimed to be 13 times faster and 10 times more power efficient than existing techniques one. Let's dive into the details. Firstly, let's talk about the innovation. Artificial intelligence has been a game changer in various fields, and its training methods are continually evolving. The latest innovation in this domain comes from Google's AI research lab, DeepMind. They've developed a new method known as JEST, an acronym for Joint Example Selection. The traditional AI training techniques focus on individual data points. These methods treat each data point as an isolated entity and make decisions based on its individual characteristics. However, this approach often overlooks the broader context that could be gleaned from considering multiple data points together. This is where Jest brings a paradigm shift. Instead of focusing on individual data points, Jest optimizes the training process by evaluating entire batches of data. This batchwise approach allows the model to consider the broader context and make more informed decisions. The process begins with a smaller AI model that grades the quality of data from high-quality sources. This model acts as a filter, sifting through the data and identifying the most valuable pieces for training. These graded batches are then compared to a larger, lower-quality dataset. This innovative approach allows the AI to learn more effectively by focusing on the most relevant and informative data. It's like giving the AI a curated textbook instead of a random assortment of books. This method not only improves the efficiency of the training process, but also enhances the quality of the training. Next, let's talk about the process. The process of Jest is a two-step dance between a smaller AI model and a larger one. The smaller model acts as a scout, venturing into the vast landscape of data and identifying the most valuable pieces for training. This model grades the quality of data from high-quality sources, acting as a filter to sift through the data and identify the most informative batches. Once the smaller model has done its job, the larger model steps in. This model is trained based on the findings of the smaller model. It's like a student learning from a carefully curated textbook, focusing on the most relevant and informative chapters. This method of training AI models is a significant departure from traditional techniques. Instead of treating each data point as an isolated entity, Jest considers entire batches of data. This batchwise approach allows the model to consider the broader context and make more informed decisions. The beauty of this process lies in its efficiency. By focusing on the most relevant data, the model can learn more effectively and quickly. This results in a significant acceleration in both training speed and energy efficiency. According to DeepMind, this method yields 13 times more performance and 10 times higher power efficiency than other methods. However, it's important to note that the success of this method hinges on the quality of the initial training data. The smaller model needs high-quality data to grade and identify the most valuable pieces for training. This requirement may pose challenges for those who lack the resources to curate such data. Let's discuss the results as well. The results of DeepMind's new Jest method are nothing short of impressive. The method has shown to surpass state-of-the-art models in terms of efficiency and speed. But what does this mean in practical terms? Let's start with the speed. Jest requires up to 13 times fewer iterations than other methods. This means that the AI model can learn the same amount of information in a fraction of the time. Imagine being able to learn a new language or skill 13 times faster than usual. That's the kind of speed improvement we're talking about here. Now, let's talk about the computation. Jest is 10 times more power efficient than other methods. This means that it requires 10 times less computational power to achieve the same results. In a world where energy efficiency is becoming increasingly important, this is a significant advancement. But the benefits of Jest don't stop there. The method also enhances the quality of the trained model. By focusing on the most relevant and informative data, the model can learn more effectively and produce more accurate results. However, it's important to note that these results are based on the quality of the initial training data. The smaller model needs high-quality data to grade and identify the most valuable pieces for training. This requirement may pose challenges for those who lack the resources to curate such data. Overall, 
the results of DeepMind's Jest method are impressive. The method promises substantial improvements in speed, energy consumption, and model quality. These advancements could have profound implications for the future of AI, particularly in reducing the computational and energy costs associated with training large models. The technology is not without challenges. While the Jest method brings significant advancements in AI training, it's not without its challenges. The effectiveness of Jest relies heavily on the quality of the initial training data. This is where the adage garbage in, garbage out comes into play. If the initial training data is of poor quality, the results will likely be subpar, regardless of how efficient the training method is. The smaller model in the Jest method grades the quality of data from high-quality sources. This model acts as a filter, sifting through the data and identifying the most valuable pieces for training. However, this process requires human-curated datasets of the highest possible quality. This requirement poses a significant challenge, especially for hobbyists or amateur AI developers who may lack the resources to curate such high-quality data. Large-scale, professional research environments are more likely to have access to the necessary resources and expertise to curate high-quality datasets. Another challenge is the computational resources required to implement the Jest method. While Jest is more power-efficient than traditional methods, it still requires a significant amount of computational power. This could be a barrier for those with limited resources. Lastly, while Jest shows promising results, it's still a new method. As with any new technology, it will take time to fully understand its potential and limitations. Further research and experimentation are needed to refine the method and maximize its benefits. Let's talk about the environmental impact. The environmental impact of AI is a topic of growing concern. As AI models become more complex and data-intensive, the energy required to train these models is increasing. This is where the introduction of Jest comes at a critical time. AI workloads took up about 4.3 gigawatts in 2023, almost matching the annual power consumption of the nation of Cyprus. This is a staggering amount of energy, and it's only expected to increase as AI continues to advance. A single chat GPT request costs 10x more than a Google search in power, highlighting the energy-intensive nature of AI operations. Looking ahead, ARM CEO estimates that AI will take up a quarter of the United States power grid by 2030. This prediction underscores the urgent need for more energy-efficient AI training methods. This is where Jest could make a significant difference. By improving the efficiency of AI training, Jest could significantly reduce the power demands of AI data centers. This not only has the potential to save a considerable amount of energy, but also to reduce the environmental impact of AI. However, it's important to note that while Jest is a step in the right direction, it's not a silver bullet. The challenge of making AI more energy efficient is a complex one that will require a multifaceted approach. This includes not only improving the efficiency of AI training methods, but also exploring alternative energy sources and optimizing the design of data centers. In conclusion, DeepMind's Jest method marks a significant advancement in AI training efficiency, promising substantial improvements in speed and energy consumption. This innovation underscores the growing importance of optimizing AI development processes to mitigate environmental impact and operational costs 3. That's all for today's video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more updates from the world of AI. Until next time, goodbye and take care.